Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today bringing you guys the next episode of my Clash of Clans mailbag series. Once again, you guys can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube comment section, and I'll take the best questions and throw them into the next video. Today, I actually have a lot of really good questions, so let's go ahead and start with question number one. What happened to that animated Clash video you did a few months back, and when will you start doing live streams again? So for that Clash animation, if you guys haven't seen it already, I'll throw a link on the screen right now. It was really funny, and it was actually received really well. I think we had like 500, 600,000 views. I gotta check. But uh, unfortunately, it was really, really expensive, and uh, we couldn't continue doing it until I did get a message a couple days ago where we might be able to bring it back. So apparently, YouTube is supporting a bunch of premium content, which that is considered, and uh, we might be able to bring it back depending on what happens, but my network says there's a pretty good chance, and uh, I'll definitely keep you updated if that happens. As far as the live streams go, Live streaming is one of my favorite things to do uh, as far as like making videos and playing Clash because doing it all live and interacting with the chat and you guys being able to see my fails and live reactions is so much fun. And uh, yeah, now that I have a temporary office, I've been able to do a ton of videos as you guys have noticed. I hope you're happy about that. I'm super happy about it. And uh, I'm working on getting a permanent place so I'm able to do a lot more live streams. So I'll keep you updated with both of those things, but uh, they're both looking pretty good for the future. So Nathan asked, what would you recommend as the first upgrades for a Town Hall 9? So at Town Hall 9, you do unlock the two new Expos, which are obviously important, but there's some things you should definitely upgrade before that. So for me, I always upgrade the Laboratory whenever I upgrade my Town Hall, as well as the Spell Factory. Those th two things are pretty crucial, definitely the Laboratory over the Spell Factory. And then um, I like to upgrade things like my Army Camps, as well as I like to upgrade my Clan Castle. So those are really, really important things you can use for every single Town Hall. You definitely do want to build the Expos, and I forget about the Dark Elixir drills and uh, what level they're at now. I think they're at Town Hall 7, Town Hall 8, and Town Hall 9. So make sure you build a Dark Elixir drill if you do get one. And I think those are the first things you should definitely do when you upgrade to Town Hall 9. So Brownie asks, does the owner of Clash of Clans have a clan? If so, what is it? If you guys have seen the interview I did with Ilka, he's the CEO of Supercell. I know I've asked him before, and he's definitely plays Clash and is in a clan. And all the Supercell employees are, but unfortunately, you can't reveal where they're in because they'd get mobbed by people, and they sort of just want to blend in with the game. If you were a creator of a game, you wouldn't want to reveal where you are because then you get mobbed by questions, people asking for free gems, asking if they can change their name and all the stuff like that. So they keep it secret. I don't know exactly where Ilka is. I know where maybe one or two Supercell employees are, but uh, they definitely try to keep it on the down low and they don't want people invading uh, their clans. So Santiago Prax, I hope I pronounced that right, said, do you think that Lava Hounds have changed something in the game? I think Lava Hounds are actually a pretty important troop. Looking back, they really made air attacks a lot more diversified because usually it was just like Mass Dragons, maybe Balloon Minion. But now with the Lava Hounds, you can switch it up a lot. The Lava Hounds are like a golem for the ground. So the Lava Hounds, they can be used with dragons. They can be used with balloons. They can be used with minions. You can use a ton of different strategies with them. Some people even use like golems and hog riders. I don't think hog riders really work that well, but some hog riders. And uh, there's a bunch of crazy things that can be used with the Lava Hounds, as well as you can switch around how many Lava Hounds you use. And uh, it's really brought a lot of variety to air attacks. So I think it changed a lot and I think it's definitely for the better. And now it's not just people spamming ground attacks. You can have the same amount of success being able to get two to three stars with air attacks. And I definitely enjoyed the, their addition to the game. And uh, a lot of people were asking for like an air tank troop. And when we got it, it definitely worked out really well. So Asher asks, do you think Supercell will release more TV ads for Clash in the near future? I think they definitely will. They've had a lot of success with the last couple of ads. I mean, their first one did insanely well with Clan Wars. All their recent ones have been hilarious with like the Wizards and stuff like that. So I definitely think we'll see some soon. I know they haven't told me anything about it, but um, yeah, I'd be really, really surprised if they didn't do them. They do all this crazy stuff with advertising, whether it's the ads in Korea, whether they're the ads at bus stops, if you guys have seen those before and at the Metro. I mean, they do a ton of advertising and I'd be really shocked if they didn't do a TV commercial sometime in the near future. So Ben asked, will you ever be doing a big collab with YouTubers like Daddy or Galadon? I think I'd definitely be open to it. Those two guys are really chill. And I've met him when I was out in Finland. I've hung out with Daddy twice. And uh, things have always been really cool with us. So I'd definitely be down to do something. But it would have to be something epic. It couldn't just be like us reviewing each other's base or something corny like that. We'd have to do something really cool. And uh, I'd definitely be down to do that. So if you guys have any ideas for some sort of collaboration videos I could do with other YouTubers, drop a comment in the comment section below. And I'll try to check those out if I can. 
So Matthew asked, when are you going to do some more of your class challenges? And actually over the next couple of days, most of my friends are coming home from winter break, including Tyler, so we can get back to doing those. Unfortunately, it's a little bit cold outside, so we can't do a lot of that crazy extreme sports stuff, but we should be able to find some cool stuff to do. And uh, yeah, we just have to work out a perfect idea because I, with the class challenges, you always have to do it big. You can't do anything really small, like raid with your feet or something like that. Like we have to do something epic and uh, I got to cook up some good ideas, but I have a feeling you guys will see a class challenge sometime over winter break. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have any ideas, drop them in the comment section below. And now let's go ahead and move on to the last question. So Aldo Mata asked, what was your first video? First video, really, really, really bad. Um, probably shouldn't show you guys this, but uh, let me go ahead and throw it on the screen right now. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Patrick with Clash of Clans. I created this channel dedicated to Clash of Clans for levels, walkthroughs, guides, uh, anything related to Clash of Clans, you'll find it on this channel. So... Started off with level one. Uh, this one obviously is the easiest one in the whole game. Pretty much all I did was drop five barbarians up top and watch them do their thing. So for all the videos, you guys can subscribe with the button. Um, like, leave a comment. If you have comments, I promise I'll answer them. So that's it. See you guys in level two. So let's not talk about that first video. That's going to wrap it up for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions for the next video, just drop them in the comment section below. And like I said, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are down there as well. Also, one final note, I am so close to 100,000 subscribers on my second channel. I think I'm less than like 500 subscribers away. If you guys want to subscribe, I'm going to throw a link on the screen right now as well as in the description below. Go sub over there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.